today, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to use our four blocks and the same time frame for all four of them is going to be you are going to start the round and then every two minutes we're going to start another round. So your job is to accomplish the set amount of reps in that, uh, in that two minute time frame. Now, that being said, the first circuit we're going to go through is designed, I tested it out yesterday and it should last you about a minute and a half to a minute 35 depending on how you address it. For our first thing we're going to do today, and I'll get right into it, is uh, we're going to do foot elevated swings. So, for this circuit and for our last circuit, you are going to need either a chair, I'm going to use a bench, you could use your couch if you're in your living room, uh, you could use a stair on your stairway if you have access to see me from there. Um, an end table, anything like that. But if you do not, don't sweat it. That's not that big of a deal. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do foot elevated single arm swings. So that being said, we're gonna put our foot up on the bench or your chair or your table or your couch. Right foot's gonna go up. I'm gonna swing with my right hand. So for this one, we're gonna kinda, this would be the same idea as if, and again, if you don't have a bench or anything like that, you could do the staggered swing that I did back in week one. Uh, so you can just take that staggered stance up off that back heel. Uh, this way, we're gonna work a little bit more of that balance, a little bit more of that glute activation, and we're gonna swing 15 times on our right side, swing 15 times on our left side, and then 15 push-ups over the top of that kettlebell. So one hand on the kettlebell, one hand on the floor, one, two, three, 14, and 15, okay? Uh, like I said, that should fit into about a minute and a half, minute 35. If you feel like that's too much rest for you right out of the gates, do 20 push-ups. If you feel like you're just getting up there and it's getting too close to the top of that two minutes, then scale a couple back. All right, guys, so 10 seconds, get ready. If you do not have a kettlebell that's light enough to do this, you can absolutely use your dumbbell. Get ready and begin. 15 on the right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. All right, switch it up. Keeping those 
tab site, you know the deal. They've done plenty of swings at this point. We all should know proper technique. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Down to the floor, push up time. Go right on the back head of that uh, dumbbell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Once again, minute and a half, minute 31, I'm being real. All right, guys, take a quick break, a couple deep breaths, just trying to regroup, get ready for our third round. We're going to go back to this kettlebell. This time I'm going to do it in a staggered stance, just for those of you who don't have the chair or the couch. Get ready. Three, two, one, begin. Remember, guys, First week, I believe this is my first movement, my first workout in the virtual world. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. All right, switch them up. Remember, we're going to stay off that back heel. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Also, guys, if you're having trouble with the stagger push up, that's okay. Go right to the floor. Just do a tick tock style. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Once again, right on the money. Half All right, guys, that's the three rounds. We got to spend. We got to get into the fourth. So I'm going to go back up, foot on, on the bench, back to my kettlebell. All right, guys, get ready. We got about 10 seconds. Position. Set your foot if you need to. Back to my right side. Get ready. Three, two, one.
time, all the way through, fifth round, closing out our first circuit. Let's go back to that foot up. Woo! Rest. All right, guys. Remember, nice and tall, abs stay tight. Plant that foot. Three, two, one. Let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Switching it up. Essentially, we're going to go 15 on, uh, on, on each side, and then we're going to go into 15 squat cleans. So that means we're going to stand over the top of the kettlebell, rip it, squat it, tap it 15 times. And again, you can totally do that with your dumbbell if you feel that your kettlebell is too heavy. Same thing. Bam. Like I said, we're going to be able to use everything today if we need to. All right, guys. So that being said, let's jump into set number two. We're going to go with, uh, again, every two minutes, five rounds. We've got 20 rounds we're getting to, guys. Hope you ate some breakfast. All right, get ready. 10 seconds, and we are officially in it. I'm going to start on my right side. So I'll face that camera this way. Get ready, and go. Three. Remember, you want to keep that shoulder pinned to the floor. You don't want to overextend it and start working that front delt more than it needs to be. Keep that shoulder down. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Again, if you guys need to add reps, feel free. Those push-ups. Got me plenty on that last set. Four, 
five. I did not keep my hips up on that first one. I'm sure a bunch of you noticed already. Just keep those hips up nice and high. Keep those glutes engaged. Once again, I'm going to piggyback off with all that glute activation we got in that first uh, cycle. Three, two, and one. All right, coming up 15 squat cleans. One. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're at a minute and a half. Twelve. Thirteen. 14 and 15. Just getting in at 145. If you need to, still some reps back. 10 seconds. We're back on that right side. Round two. Get ready. Five, four, three. Hips up. Go. Two. Abs tight. Three. Squeeze those glutes. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Switching. Here we go. Hips high. Two, three, four. Just let that elbow tap the ground. Straight back up. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. All right, guys, back up on those squat cleans. Let's see if we can come in under 145. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, ah, and fifteen. My right, last round. Feeling good about that? I'm gonna take that extra rest. Couple big deep breaths, towel it down. Two rounds in the bank. Three to go. Ten seconds starts round three. Set yourself back up on the floor. Hit bridge. Get ready. Three, two, go. One, two, three, four, five. As you can see, I'm not rushing these reps. Keeping everything nice and steady. Consistent pace. Ten in the bank. Five to go. Five. Four. Three. Two. And switch. Over. Quick transition. Fifteen. Fourteen. Thirteen. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, back over. See if we can stay consistent with our last round. One, two, minute 35 is our last time. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, lots of burning, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Woo! 131. Beat my last time. Again, feel free. If you want to add five reps to that, keep it going. 
that's up to you. I'm gonna take that rest, feel good about it. I know I'm working hard, I'm getting into that with all my reps, staying consistent. It's not better. All right, guys, round four. You're ready. Three, two, one, begin. Up, two, three, four. Come on, stay with me. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Boom, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. All right, squat cleans. Two, three. You see my knees, guys. Going out. Not caving in. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Make sure we're opening those hips all the way. Yeah, five, four, three. Two, and one. Woo! 129. Out of four, my best score. Best time, I should say. Keeping my rhythm, my reps consistent. I'm just working a little bit harder each round. Woo! I'm not even about to talk to you anymore. Catch my breath. I'm going to try to beat 129 for my last round. All right, guys, set them up. Get ready. Five, four, three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen, quick transitions, and fifteen. 5, don't let that elbow crash, 3, 2, and 1, bam, here we go, last time, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine, ten, uh, come on, five more, five, four, three, two, and one. side. That takes a little bit more time for each of those reps. So instead of going 15 and pretty much taking us right to the full two minutes, that would be 10 minutes of non-stop work. I think we need a little bit of rest in there. Uh, so you're going to do a dumbbell snatch. Again, you want to use your kettlebell. Depends on what your kettlebell snatch is looking like. So snatch, same side, stay stationary. 
Boom. One. Two. Okay? So you're gonna try to get that knee all the way to the ground. Keep that dumbbell straight over the top of the shoulder through that whole movement. Back down and back through. 10 on each side, 15 weighted sit-ups. That's where we take our sit-up, I mean our, our sit-up. We take our dumbbell, hold it here 15 times. Okay, 15 of those. Like I said, every two minutes. All right, guys, going into number three. That's gonna start in 10 seconds. Here we go. Dumbbell snatch. It's a curtsy squat, a curtsy lunge, whatever you used to call it. Three, two, one, here we go. Boom, over. Tap that back knee. Two.
doing the workout. Got to take it on a test run, and then I got to do it for you guys. Woo. Four. Five. Remember the good old days of Saturday morning? I could just test it out on Friday, and then run you guys through it on Saturday. That's eight. Nine. Last time. 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, uh, 1.5. Not as impressive. I didn't have to wait for the sit up for the last three rounds, but like I said, the second time doing the workout. All right, guys, take a little breather. We got one more circuit to get through, and then we got one finisher to knock out before we say goodbye. Hopefully everybody's feeling good at this point. We all got a good, a good sweat going on. Oh. All right, four. Our last one. We're gonna go back to using that chair, that bench, that uh, end table. Like I said, really, whatever it is that you have available to you. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna go back to the 15 rep count for all three movements. First two movements are going to be single arm, single leg, dumbbell or kettlebell row. I'm gonna use the kettlebell, at least at first. Slightly heavier than the, uh, than the dumbbell. Like I said, single arm, single leg. So again, a lot of you guys have done this movement in my class. Usually I had to do it on a box. I'm sure nobody has a box today, so we're gonna use, like I said, chair, couch, end table, or in my case, a bench. So what's happening here? We're gonna take that high plank position. As you can see, my back is in a nice straight line. Shoulder to heel, nice straight line. I'm gonna start on my right side, rowing, and I'm gonna take my left leg up off the ground. I'm gonna roll 15 times there, switch 15 times here, and then I'm gonna go into Russian twists 15 times. That means left and right equals one. If you wanna count out 30, that's up to you, but essentially, most of you guys know how I like to do it. For aesthetics, 15 all the way down the, run, uh, down the uh, line. All right, so if in fact the one leg thing is a problem for you, it's okay. Put both feet down on the ground, get stable, stay strong in your abs, and really focus on not shifting those hips around. That's gonna be our big focus. So again, for those of you guys who are a little more seasoned, join in on that uh, one leg situation. Otherwise, both feet on the ground, 15 rows on each side. Also, one little side note is make sure that you're not pulling that dumbbell up to your shoulder. You want that to come back to the hip or the oblique, think of it either way. All right, guys, five rounds. Let's do this. Cash in, here we go. 10 seconds. I'm gonna start on my right side. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Five. Sweat forward. Here we go. Back in round two. Three, 
two, one, go. One. Sweeping that kettlebell back. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. There's got to be some level of control here. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And fifteen. Switch. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ah, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, ah, and fifteen. One twenty-five. Feeling good about one twenty-five, guys. All right, we got one more round here. This is it. Last of the bangers, and we got a quick core finisher. Ugh. All right, guys. I'm praying that on the other side of that camera, you guys are sweating like I am, because otherwise, we're gonna have a pretty steady view of Darren getting less and less in shape throughout this course. This is five weeks. All right, get ready. Three, two, one. Last time. concentrate on keeping those hips as still as possible. Same thing goes for if you do have the leg up, but like I said, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult, it's gonna be a little more challenging. So, I'm gonna face sideways on this one, just so you guys can kinda of see me, instead of just looking at the top of my head. Like I said, we're gonna go for eight rounds, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. All right, set up the timer, let's go. Guys,
keep trying to get down the face. Thanks so much guys for coming in or joining in. I will be back on Tuesday. Kayla's up tomorrow. You know the deal. She's always got something nasty for Friday. I will see you next week. Everybody have a great weekend.